What's up everyone, my name is Jesse, this is the Auditorium, I react to video game music as a musician myself. Today is the long-awaited return of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I'm pretty sure I've only done it once ever on the channel. I was told it was like a manga that was like adapted to an anime and then games and it's just like a huge thing. Uh, these are requested by Aiden. We're going to be hearing, I think it's two different games here. So we have JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All-Star Battle. And then Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, Eyes of Heaven. But both songs seem to have a common theme, and uh, their song titles are Akira Atoishi Battle and Ultra Super Guitarist Akira Atoishi Theme. So I'm guessing it's all about this person right here. I mean, I'm already interested, guitarist, all that. But from what I do remember of the first time I heard Jojo's was that apparently this whole... What do you want to call it? media, anime, whatever, uh, it's all like bands or musicians, like puns and stuff like that. So, because I remember I heard Dio battle and I was like, oh, that's Dio, Ron James Dio. So we'll see if I can catch anything here. I just know it's going to be like a pretty rocking good time, hopefully. So yeah, we're going to start off with All-Star Battle, Ultra Super Guitarist Akira Atoshi theme. Do not know who the composer is to say. Oh yeah, by the way, these are channels King Elijah and... Vish Epic Anime Radio. I do not see a composer. Okay. Also, let me know if these are like, if these songs exist in TV shows as well, or it's just in the game. Anyways, uh, All Star Battle Ultra Super Guitarist Akira Atoshi. Trying to picture like what's going on here, a character that probably walks around with a guitar, just shreds everywhere or something. Oh my god, I just noticed at the bottom you can see it says chili pepper. <laughs> Speak of the death. Can't stop. I would have caught that anyways, even if I didn't read that. That's such an iconic chord. Now, is this character entirely based on the Red Hot Chili Peppers? Or just a song? I'm like trying to catch everything now. What's up with this character? What are they supposed to be? It's like Frieza, but yellow. Guitar sound great, by the way. Very nice mix. Very 80s kind of late 80s mix. Da -da 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 also, is this a fighting game? I see two health bars on the top. I thought it was gonna sound more like Prince or something. He's kind of dressed like Prince. Yeah, that's 100%. <laughs> RECP. But it's cool that they made their own thing, you know? Honestly, none of, nothing else really sounds like them. Just that's our main riff. Like, Red Hot doesn't make stuff like this right here. They're more like funk. That's a sick move. Those are the funnest riffs to play on guitar, like those like just riding the drums. It's a 
to that end. It's really funny that I caught that uh, that text right there. It says chili pepper right before, right before I heard that. I would have caught that anyways. That's such an like iconic sound, right? Da -da 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 -da. It's funny. I was just watching a documentary on the Red Hot Chili Peppers like, like two weeks ago, where they were talking about how Anthony came up with the Under the Bridge, which is a pretty intense song. I never really thought about it because I heard that song my whole life growing up. You know, when you're a kid, you don't really like. Maybe it was just me, but you didn't pay attention to the lyrics too much. And then you're grown, you're a grown man. And you're like, oh, shooting up heroin. Okay. So, yeah. Like I said, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is kind of a um, an anomaly to me. I know nothing about it, but yeah, it's one of those names where I've just heard throughout most of my adult life, and you know, just by just in passing, you know, friends mutuals that are fans of it me not knowing what it is me not trying to bother like researching it or anything if you haven't noticed i don't really research anything i just kind of stay ignorant and then maybe one day it'll come to me well that's kind of what this whole channel has been so last time i did jojo's you know the comments were like yes you know this started as this became that and I think it's still going, and I think it's still, like, a huge deal. Like, it's kind of a mainstay staple, you know, piece of media. And from what I gathered is just that it's either all or most things are referencing known famous bands. And I don't know if they're all, like, a certain genre of bands, like rock bands or something, or if they're just famous bands. I don't know. But so far, we've heard something that's related to Ronnie James Dio. And now this one, I don't think the name Akira Toshi is supposed to reference anything, but that song was definitely like, you know, the Red Hot Chili Peppers song. Ultra Super Guitar. So now it makes me think of the next song is going to be like the same and like that that's his theme and it just plays different or if it's an entirely different thing. I'm very curious to just go right into the next one, to be honest. But from what I'm gathering, which is, I'm still confused, right? It looks like a fighting game. I see, I, I've played many fighting games. That looks like a fighting game. There's, a, there's symbols under, that looks like what is a health bar, a meter bar, and two rounds, which, so does JoJo's also have a, it's called All-Star Battle, so maybe. And I'm guessing just by the vibe of this character and from what I've seen, the guitar never seems to leave their side. And it's just like a part of them. There's a character like that in Guilty Gear. I forget her name, but she has like a blue guitar. And she's, she's wearing all red. Also, the guitarist in me is kind of... Is very like... Well, actually, because the scale length of that neck is huge. It's so long. It looks like a bass. But whatever. He looks cool, though. He's got a huge scar on his face. Actually, I'm not even sure if it's a male or female. Anyways, this is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Eyes of Heaven. An entirely different game, I guess. And this one's just is called Akira Atoshi Battle Music. Let's see if it's the same or different. It looked like Kefka. <laughs> if Kefka had a guitar. There's that character again. Are they related? Like, are they one character? This yellow. Frieza looking. A different riff so far. It's a pretty cool guitar or color too. You never see that color. Like a copper. It's usually always like a solid color. Yeah, different. Different riff. Yeah, in both instances, that yellow character is right. Okay. Oh. That yellow character is right next to him. Or is it Akira and then Satoshi? Two characters? I'm trying 
trying to piece together what's like this character's all about. But it is the same song. Just like a little different. That riff sounds very Aerosmith. It's like a very Aerosmith riff. No, the back of is moving too. My curiosity is tapped into. I'm not going to look up anything. I want to just guess. But it seems like the yellow character is a part of this character. It's like a musical spirit or something. They kind of look evil too. They got a, like a sinister look to them. Yeah, it's really only that one section that sounds like the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Everything else sounds like different bands. But it's definitely like rock and roll. Sounds like a fun riff to play. Very easy too. Could probably learn that in a couple minutes. And this is power chords, but just the hand formation he's making for the power chord. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. So basically, same song, different version. Like that's their. That's their tune, their theme. Basically, everything I was gonna, everything I said from the first one is carries over. Um, both cool. None of them was better than the other. Just different variations. I just have a bunch of questions, right? Like this character is definitely like the whole rock star, twenty four seven. They're suited up. They got the jacket. The guitar is all eccentric. You know, it's gold, copper, boots, lipstick. They got that like smoldering look and then they got this character to the side of them which makes no sense to me whatsoever it looks like frieza but gold with a drill beak yeah i don't know what the hell's going on here pretty strange now i'm gonna say something that's totally probably irrelevant but it's just the guitarist in me but if you look in this one, his guitar is a fixed bridge, <laughs> meaning like right by his, um, look right by his right hand. Look, if you look at the right side, right by his right hand, the bridge is just, it's just the strings are just uh, anchored on it. And on this one, it's got a whammy bar. It's right next to the, it's right above the word pepper. It's, it's like a little the thing where you can go like, wow, you know. So I wonder if he changed his guitar at some point, or if it's just like an oversight and they decided to... I don't know, but it's something I noticed. Of course I'm going to notice the guitar stuff. 
Okay, well, I mean, I don't really have much to say besides that. It was, it, it's definitely Red Hot Chili Peppers inspired, for sure. Aerosmith inspired, too. Sounds like it. No idea what's up with this gold character. <laughs> Sidekick, something, I don't know. But, uh, just floodgates are open. Let me know more about JoJo's. I, I no idea. It's very interesting to me, though. I can see how it has a cult following and a dedicated fan base. I can see. Just from the two themes I've heard. Dio and this one. Okay, and then let me know if Eyes of Heaven is like its own type of game, or are they all fighting games? Fill me in. Thank you, Aiden, for the request. Thank you to my Patreon members. I couldn't be here without them. Especially my Platinum members. Thank you very much. Thanks to you for watching. My name is Jesse in the auditorium. Later.